Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I have some good news to share with you guys. Um, I guess you could call it some breaking news and interestingly enough, I hate to say this, but it is actually coming from the Democrats. You're probably wondering, Christina, what could you possibly be talking about? And that's where I want to show you this. Bill to end solitary confinement in federal institutions introduced in the Senate. The legislation, a companion to a measure introduced by House Democrats, would limit placing federal inmates and detainees in segregation except under certain guidelines. And I can tell you right now, I have already talked to some of the families in the, the, uh, of the men who were entrapped and framed in the FBI's Governor Whitmer fednapping hoax, which, as you know, all five of the men that were convicted um, in sh what amounted to little more than show trials are appealing their convictions. And those convictions will be reversed on appeal. That is why they're trying to sabotage their appeals, because they know that's going to happen. Five men have been acquitted by two different juries, and those men are having a very hard time, too, even when you are acquitted, even uh, when they don't get you, they still get you, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about this, because this is, it makes a lot of sense. I don't know why the Republicans didn't introduce this, but hopefully they will pass this. Democrat-aligned senators introduced legislation Tuesday that would largely ban the use of solitary confinement in federal institutions and give states and local jurisdictions incentives to do the same. This is very important, guys. The End Solitary Confinement Act, a companion to a bill that over a dozen House Democrats introduced in July, would also prevent inmates and detainees from being segregated alone for more than four hours to de-escalate emergency situations and even then require staff members to meet with them at least once an hour. I can tell you that I've talked to these guys that have, that have been in the shoe, that have been in solitary confinement in federal prison. It is torment. It is torture. It's cruel and unusual punishment. And if I understand correctly, the Nelson Mandela rules from the United Nations uh, about um, torture says this, that solitary confinement for actually just one day for 24 hours alone in confinement is torture. It is. So this absolutely needs to change. And hopefully this gets passed. Uh, similar to the House bill, incarcerated people would also be entitled to at least 14 hours of daily time out of their cells, including access to seven hours of programming meant to address topics such as mental health, substance abuse, and violence prevention. This is so important. Get them, if you want to reintegrate them back into society, if you want to give them the skills that they're lacking in a lot of the reasons that these people are in th these places is because nobody taught them these things. Nobody helped them. They didn't have, you know, maybe the same resources that people that grew up with loving parents that weren't in a broken home might have had. And that's not an excuse. I'm sure there are some people who may be in there just because they're bad people. But you know what? Humans are still humans. And think about what Christ said. Who did Christ go to? He went to the sinners. Because he said those were the people in most need of a physician, which is what he was and is. And so I think they should also be getting uh, religious um, counsel in there as well. And, and I think they do have that. But um, I know for some of them, their uh, program, like for Orthodox Christians, is very small, where there might only be one of them, and it's them, you know, which is crazy. Uh, the Senate legislation is being introduced, shockingly, by Elizabeth Warren and Ed Markey, both senators, and Bernie Sanders and Peter Welch. And you know what? Let's give credit where credit is due. I do not like these people. I do not like these politicians. I don't think they're good people. But this is something, right? 
Um, and they're right, quote, being forced into a small concrete cell without windows for hours, days, weeks, and even months on end is not rehabilitation, it's cruelty. Markey said in a statement, quote, solitary confinement is unjust and inhumane torture that disproportionately targets our nation's most vulnerable groups. I would suggest that's correct, but I have a different understanding of who the most vulnerable in our society right now actually are because it's not the protected groups of people that they claim are marginalized. It isn't. It's people like Adam Fox, you know, a homeless man living in the basement of the vac shack that is targeted and preyed upon by a federal intelligence agency, which is what the FBI is. They are a domestic intelligence agency, as FBI whistleblower Steve Friend has himself pointed out. Uh, continuing, roughly 122,000 people in federal and state adult prisons and federal and local jails are placed in restrictive housing, informally known as solitary confinement, for 22 hours or more on a given day, according to a nonprofit watchdog report based on government data. And I'm telling you, I've been hearing about the conditions in these places, and it is horrific. A bill Senate Democrats introduced last year sought to reduce the use of solitary confinement by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, but these bills would go further, not only by capping the hours inmates can spend isolated, but also mandating the federal government regularly report the number of incidents of self-harm and suicide at federal facilities, as well as the use of solitary confinement and demographic breakdowns of those confined during emergency de-escalation situations. It is unclear whether the End Solitary Confinement Act can get support from Republicans or Joe Biden because he doesn't care. And I don't know why Republicans don't seem to care either. I guess they don't care about the J6 people they claim to care about or the Whitmer guys who they never mention, by the way. They no mention at the BOP oversight hearing that I recently attended in Washington, D.C. about any of this. Not really. Um... And nothing done, you know, no promises from Director Peters that she's going to fix all of the problems at the Bureau of Prisons. And we know that they're engaging in targeted political punishment of certain high profile prisoners. Hello, let's also talk about Chauvin. You guys saw the video about the FBI informant who um, shanked him 22 times in the uh, prison library there. Um, the guys in the Whitmer case that, that, from, that were charged at the state level were sent out of Michigan uh, to federal prisons across the country, far from their families, far from their lawyers. They can't access a Michigan law library to prepare for their appeals. This is all being done on purpose to derail their appeals. That's violating their rights. It's disgusting and egregious, and I don't know why more people don't care or what I need to do more to get people to care. Uh, it's very upsetting. Uh, Biden made a campaign ple pledge to overhaul the federal prison system. He did nothing, in part by ending the practice of solitary confinement with very limited exceptions. BOP director Colette Peters said late last year, a couple months after she took over position, she wanted to know why the use of restricted housing surged when the Biden administration promised to ease its use. Yeah, all really good questions. What's that about? Hmm. Gee, let's all do a big think. Um, I encourage you guys to please share uh, this story, share this video uh, with your family, with your friends. Try to contact your elected officials if you can and let them know that you want them to support this legislation. And uh, please tag them on social media call them. I know people don't do that. They think that it's a waste of time or that it's pointless. It's not. If enough people call and let them know that, hey, this is something we care about, they may, you know, who knows, they may come out and support it, but they need to know that that's what the people want and that we support this. So Republicans really need to get on board with this, especially ones who proclaim to care about people who are being politically persecuted. Um, but, uh, Yes, um, I'm interested to know what do you guys think of this legislation?